The first sec was bought for me by my dad. 30 inch Kryptonic board, independent trucks, red, I think. Mm -hmm. So I gotta give props to the real deal. And my dad, he totally hooked me up, man. But there's someone else who brought me to this level. I remember it like it was yesterday. Because cause it was yesterday. Yeah. So I was there trying to ollie the stick that I found. Then there was this brick, man. And it was like the brick totally told my head to think about gleaming it. So I did. I gleamed the brick. My bit is so hardcore now, I'd be a skater without The Brick, Portrait of an American Icon. In December 1972, Apollo 17 did something radically different than earlier space missions. In previous excursions, they sent up a, a monkey, a dog, a fish, but never before had they sent a brick. Thing is, not only did they send it up, but for some reason they decided to bring it back. Some people say that's why Apollo 17 was the last lunar mission. So it's 76, right? And it's the beginning of punk now. And we're at CBGB's and we're playing a big hit. Excuse me! I think I love you. No, I hate you! And, and Nas was just pounding away this guitar like he does, right? And, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah! And, and some wanker throws a brick at me. Totally dodge it though. But the drummer ain't so lucky. And he takes it right in the kisser. Puts him in the hospital for like three months. Never could keep time after that. But our career totally takes off at that point. I can't believe he's here. I thought he was in New York at CBGB. So he gets around, doesn't he? <laughs> Nobody gets in loud. Get out of you mean you? Oh, yeah. He hit me like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Whoa, who are you guys talking about? He's in all dark red, square shoulders, a little rough around the edges. I, I think he's in construction with impressive girth. <laughs> I was scared at first, but then he was gentle, and he stayed hard all night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> The Brick first entered the public eye through his strong presence in the skater and punk communities. However, there have always been questions about the Brick behind the facade. Yeah, I knew that Brick. I said the two of us got along pretty well. So one day, things went south. They dragged Johnny to the bottom of the river. You might say he was uh, tied to his work in those days. <laughs> Yeah, the son of a bitch started getting into the hard stuff. First there was the weed, and the crack. A lot of people think he's dangerous, that he doesn't play well with others. Some want him behind bars. But I ask you, if someone's shot, do they arrest the gun? Of course not. I rest my case. The first time I met Brick was in my courtroom. He had been apprehended trying to buy narcotics from undercover officer. The DA offered a plea bargain agreement in lieu of jail time, and since Brick sincerely wanted to change, or so he convinced me, I agreed to the deal. Brick did some anti-drug commercials and was also admitted to an intense drug rehab program. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? The Brick's public service announcement led to a long and varied acting career. The internationally syndicated sitcom That's My Brick made him a household name around the globe. This popularity came as no surprise to those who knew this charismatic character. La Brick? La Brick? Oui, oui, je lui connais. Oh, mon Dieu, je l'aime. Je l'aime bien. Ah, mon ami, Alice, l'a vu en Paris? Et il a signé sa poignée. Je pense que si tout le monde est mort, et seulement une personne habite, tu dois l'être. Je l'aime. Brick. Brick. Yeah, I know Brick. Hmm. He's my common law husband. Common law. You know Brick ain't his real name either. It's Ashley. Ha. Ashley LeClay. Little old Ashley think he's all big shot now. But we common law married now, see. And that's legal. Does he pay his child support or anything? No? I wasn't always this way. I used to be large. I used to be really large. But that was before I found out about the Brick Diet. I lost 20 pounds and three teeth on the Brick Diet. Beautiful results involving concussive kinetics. 
It's the diet craze sweeping the nation. Yeah, I know about the Brick. The Brick, he's involved with those Masons. In fact, his family has been at the center of Masonic activity for centuries. But nobody knows. Nobody sees what he's doing when they're not around. That's the stuff they don't want you hearing about. That's the reason why I'm on the street. <coughs> it's just like back in Egypt with the pyramids and the pharaohs and stuff. There were bricks there then too, man. I have proof. So yeah, the tombs weren't a problem at all. Now the Sphinx, that took forever. I thought we'd never get it done. We spent 20 years building it, lost hundreds of our best slaves. Finally, we get it done, but at the top, there's this little gap. We tried stones, we tried slabs, we tried everything. Nothing worked. So I sent this papyrus off to my friend Tut. Next day, a brick arrives. Everyone thinks this isn't gonna work, but I said, hey, let's give it a try. That brick, was the crowning piece of our monument. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a good man. I mean, a good man, good friend. And I mean, he's always saving my skin. And he's like, stop it already, okay? You know, this one time, I'm following after him, I'm running after him, there's stuff flying everywhere, there's bullets going around. I see his big bald head there in front of me with the sun shining off it. And you know, I'm going, what? More of a red rectangular fellow. Rectangular red thing, huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the brick. Yeah, the brick's good, too. Yeah, good guy, the brick. Yeah. The brick's sudden retirement sent shockwaves through the entire world. Many have come to view what may be his final performance. Even so, we all still continue to feel the impact of the brick. Thank you, and good night. kind of worried going up there. He said, I don't know about this. I mean, what if we don't make it? You know, there were all the problems with the, the Apollo 13, which is now a fine movie. I said, you know, Brick, I'll tell you what. You get through this, I'm taking you to Canada. <laughs> well, sure enough, I did. I just wonder what happened to him there. I think I left the brick in Canada, excuse me.